Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to throw an object and hit a target using rigid body dynamics. First, create a plane by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing plane from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab of the plane object and increase the width and height to 4000 cm. Then create an object that we will throw. Let it be a sphere. Click and hold on the cube icon and choose sphere from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab and reduce the radius to 40 cm. Further, switch to the right view in the viewport and lift the sphere so that it is above the plane, in the position from where we will throw a sphere. Return to the perspective view and adjust the default camera in the viewport. Now let's apply and configure simulation text. For this, right click on the plane in the object manager, select simulation text and click on collider. The collider tag has appeared to the right of the plane in the object manager. Thus we have defined the plane as obstacle. Next, right click on the sphere in the object manager, select simulation text and click on rigid body. The rigid body tag has appeared to the right of the sphere in the object manager. Thus we have defined the sphere as an object that cannot be deformed by forces and interact as a whole with other simulation objects and forces. Click on the rigid body tag, go to the dynamics tab, check the custom initial velocity box and set the direction of the start speed. If you want the speed to be directed along the y and z axis equally, zero out the first field from the left for the x axis, type 1 in the second field for the y axis and type 1 in the third field for the z axis. Press play forwards button in the animation toolbar to see the result. If you want the sphere to be thrown more vertically, increase the value in the second field for the y axis for example, 2 2. The only thing that matters here is the ratio. You can type 10 and 10 into the second and third fields, and it will be equivalent to 1 and 1. We can increase the speed itself in the speed property. Let's increase it. Decrease it. and return it to 1000. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's make the sphere hit something. For this, create a cube by clicking on the cube icon. Go to the object tab and reduce the size X and size Z to 100 cm. Go to the coordinates tab and set the PY and PZ property to 100 and 500 cm respectively. Right click on the cube in the object manager, select simulation text and click on collider to define the cube as obstacle. Then create the second sphere by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing sphere from the pop-up palette. Rename it to target Go to the object tab, reduce the radius to 60 cm, go to the coordinates tab and set the PY and PZ property to 260 and 500 cm respectively. Right click on the target in the object manager, select simulation text and click on rigid body. Press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. As you can see, the sphere hits the target, but the target does not fall. This is because the target is too massive. To reduce the mass of the target, click on the rigid body tag of the target in the object manager, go to the mass tab and reduce the density to 0.1. Now the target falls. 
stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's color the scene. Open the Material Manager. Create a new standard material by going to the Create menu, selecting Classic Material and click on New Standard Material. Change the color of the material to dark gray and apply the material to the plane. Then create another material. Change its color to light yellow and apply it to the cube. Further, create a third material. Double click on the material preview, go to the color, click on the small triangle to the right of the texture, select the gradient from the drop down menu, click on the gradient, press the load preset button and select pattern 2. This gradient will allow us to track the rotation of the sphere objects. Close the material editor and apply the material to the sphere and target. Close the material manager and press the play forwards button. It's ok. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.